Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Bollock Crusaders New Fall. And in previous episodes, we decided actually, first of all, I believe we got the truce with Mamluks in previous episode, and then we started to. Well, we got a mission to liberate Volkas or have Volkas be part of a Catholic country, which they kind of are now, because they got their independence. They would be willing to become my vassal, should I offer that to them. Actually, that reminds me, I still don't have Calm as a vassal. Um, I suppose I could send them, or first offer a military access. Then how much can I improve relations? A little bit. I would take it to 165. Okay, then a gift would take it to 190, okay. So it is a possibility. The regions of China. It is time to end this empire. Now it's not permanent claims though. But let's have a look. Uh, we can see um, diplomacy. Okay, so we got. Oh right, we got claims on this area. Not great, not terrible. Now we do have the three. Actually, we got a bit more than three armies here. But yeah, we've got a decent bit of troops here. How are the rebellions doing? Not too shabby by the looks of it. Uh, or something. Well, we kind of do still need to do the suppression over there. But we can start adding these into a trade company because that has been converted. I mean, it has. Actually, I'm pretty sure that everything over here has been converted. So, Beijing, add in everything. Is there any other places? Xi'an? You can probably add in everything here as well. And you men add in everything. Which means that we could, if we were not at war, we could upgrade this one. But is that going to give us another merchant? Maybe. Or maybe not, but it doesn't really matter that much right now. We've got a war to fight. Which actually, they got plenty of troops in here. On the other hand, we got Rommel. Uh, we can break the walls there. Trading in fur. Color? Ooh. Sure. So is that... that's a fifth colony, isn't it? Yep. It certainly is. I mean, we actually... yeah, we already had this one. Oh, and that's almost completed. It's going to be done in two months. That's good, and I'm pretty sure that is Wasteland. Oh, we caught some small stack there. They got 45,000 there. I suppose I could go and seize down Lusatia's capital. And Poznan has been seized down. I do have a decent army there, I do have to admit that. But one thing that I'm considering here is... Uh, actually, it's... No, Saxony is not Catholic. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna, you know, convert these uh, other nations so they can't be electors. Then from Bohemia I'm gonna probably clear out this area here and then I'm gonna give that to Lübeck. Now I'm guessing this siege is gonna be as good as done. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a lot of the cost now. So we don't need to worry about the overextension as much. And we can start converting a lot of provinces again. That's going to be lovely. Okay, that has been caught. So we're going to add that to the uh, trade company. Belgium has been seized down. So that's the Lusatia's capital. Let's go to Dresden. I'm wondering... Oh, right, we're going to the north. We got a decent army there. But that's what Lubex there for. Make a lot of money. Ooh, we've got on two extra traders. Alright then. Uh, I suppose what I could do is from here we could start setting up the direction where we'll want to transfer power. So we'll send one there. 
And another one may be down to here. And we'll be transferring directly power or trade power from here to there. Oh, and that's another Nishi uprising here. Uh, but we've got an army right here, so that's not too bad. Still making a ton of money. Okay, Finland's seizing down that one. I wonder, is Lusasia willing to get a truce yet? Uh, fourth religion. Do I want to take any of the land? Not necessarily. Take the money and war reps. Okay, they don't want to give war reps, but I'll take the money. And they are no longer an elector. So one by one, the enemies will drop. Okay, we see Stalmishenberg. We've got a fair bit of troops here. We'll slowly start pushing them in. I mean, okay, Lubeck's general over there is actually rather poor in their skills. Although we could go to Leipzig first and seize down that one. They really are focusing down Mina right now with that revolutionary ideas. Revolutionary nonsense. Go to Rostock, this is that. They got 50,000 men there. Also, should probably allow them to attach to me. Gazembe? Where the hell is this? Sounds like Africa. Oh, yep. End of Golden Era, that's unfortunate. I mean, we still probably have one of the best armies in the world right now. Okay, so he's down Leipzig. Suppose we could go to Suikau. And we see down Dresden. Also, men, oh, noble rebellion. Oh, yeah, oh, right, yeah, they got a bit of problem there. Now then, uh, Saxony, would you be willing to, one, change religion, two, give money, and three, give war reps? Excellent. Right, so actually, I'm going to send Rommel up there. You can start seizing down the southern areas here. There we go, so he's done that. We do have a general up there. And Rommel is heading up there as well. That's another third province. That's good. And yeah, we got the Western Siberia wastelands there. It's a little bit surely we are expanding our influence here. I'm pretty sure that we can get control of that soon. As soon as we get one more province over here. I just can't see it quite yet. That's a little bit surely we'll maybe get around here, maybe we would get all of that, but yep. We'll see, I mean we don't have all that many things that we really need to do in this. I will probably play this uh, all the way through, but not necessarily on video. But we still have some big wars left. Like the war against the French. To cross the rev revolution. Okay, we can start wipe them there. There we go. And they're also getting in there to be stack wiped. Excellent. Now we got this army that can probably start moving. Oh right. Ignore start is rather siege down as well. They are not quite yet ready to be converted though. Okay, Colonus has died. Oh, Lusatia is fighting another war against who? Revolution of Cleves and Silly. Oh, right. Can we not? Okay, there we go. Silly wants to go through my land. Sure. I mean, I've seized down a lot of this land. Diplomatic move. Sure, I can improve relations with one of my vassals. I don't have a problem with that. Technically did cost us a tiny bit of diplo points, but we're still well ahead of time in tech, so not really a problem. 
Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the Jerusalem area, or the Palestine and all that, I'm going to make them into states. I'm not going to make them into the trade company or anything like that. Um, this is clearly part of the core land. Uh, that's a lot of conversions. Uh, another five going. And I'm guessing we got wide. Oh, right, we can get the manpower recovery speed back up again. Not sure we, at which point we lost it, but we'll regain it. Now then, um, oh, we're already at 99%. I wonder if they can all start. They still have high, oddly enough. But the enemies don't really have much troops. But I wonder, would you be willing to take a truce of uh, false religion? No, not yet. Not that far off, though. We need a bit more admin points, and then we can get Damascus as a actual core. Now, well, they did take us a fair bit over our governing capacity. I'm not going to lie. All oh, right, they got an army up there, and that's another native uprising over here. I think we'll use this one. Now we have four colonies right now. I don't think we need to start another one quite yet, but that's fine. Just looking around here a little bit. Yeah, Mamluks are not doing strong. I mean, they did apparently beat down some of the enemies now, so they might be making a comeback, but they still have the noble rebellions over there, which is probably still about 100,000 men, which is not small. Right, uh, Bohemia. I think it's time for us to broker a truce, wouldn't you agree? We wouldn't take that one. Too bad, because I will grab that. That's going to be a bit of a potential coalition. I doubt they'll actually form it because of my huge size, but um, hmm. I'll take the war out as well. Now, I wonder, how much longer do they need to wait until there? I mean, the war exhaustion is going to go up rather quickly, I presume. Make no start. You still don't want the truce? No, not yet. Oh, you still have a province. Oh, we can fix that. Can I actually... I should be able to go around here. Right, that's the native uprising dealt with. Good. And another third province there. Let's actually have a look. What how we got on in here? So there's two gold provinces, iron and a lot of fur. Somehow I'm not surprised. Right, let's get back over here. Oh. Oh, two Sicilies defend our reform faith. Well, I don't give a crap about that. Now then, so we got the army here, let's go around and try to hunt down the enemy armies. To make them give up faster. It must be here somewhere. As soon as I find them, oh, I can see them. Oh, at least I can see a little bit of the troops that might be leading us to the actual army. Oh yes, I got you now. Oh no, I don't. God damn it! Richard of China. Yeah, I'll get a claim on Shanxi. Okay, let's get the force march on so we can actually catch up with them. There we go. It's Twenty thousand men dead. Right, would they give up yet? No, so high enthusiasm. Oh, rise right, the belly that is doing that. But you would accept that now, because you, well, yeah, you don't have a lot to say on that. And take the war reps and the cash as well. There's nothing you can do about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, at least the Catholic phase is a bit stronger now. Now then, uh, we need to wait for a day. And Bohemia, you are probably next. Yes, you do accept that now. And it's going to be, hmm... 
Hey, we've got an expansion there. We don't have a lot of admin points, so this is going to take a while before we get everything cored, but that's alright. And then... Mecklenburg. I'm gonna take your money. There we go. Now we just need to get the troops back home, and that's about it, really, for that war. Oh wow, yeah, Poland's no more. Hungary is big. They got some strong allies as well. Now we did get the troops here in Poland. We got an another army over there. Could we get another Imperial army? Yes, so he certainly could. Expand our influence over there a little bit. Okay, the revolution is still spreading. Oh, right, and France and Portugal are still fighting. And France seems to be losing here. Oh, I mean, this might be a chance. I presume the enemy actually, or the Portuguese and such, have stronger navies. Oh, and that's some conversions time again. Good. I suppose since we're not uh, coring everything, we might as well convert them first. I mean, we will be coring them, just gonna take a while. There's another con... Not Ooh, Jerusalem has been converted. So that's another one of our goals that we had. But yeah, as soon as we crush the revolution, I think that's going to be the end of the series. But that's... Well, I mean... Yeah, it is actually going to be the end, I think. So if you want to see how this uh, thing ends, I'll probably play through in my Discord. Put in some screenshot and such. And how it goes link to which you can find in the description. Anyway, we got a lot of money. Let's have a look at the centers of trade. I don't think we can upgrade that yet, but we know that there was some around here that we could be upgrading now. For example, that one. And Beijing. Actually, I think I'm going to make Beijing into the world port. And upgrade the castle there. Then is there any other places here that we could... Uh, Oh, we're going to upgrade that one. Not necessarily to level 2, but that's not too bad in terms of trade power. I mean, we got 83% in Beijing. I'm probably pulling plenty of trade in there. And then all of that is going through Yumen to Samarkand. Most of that is going to North, although not everything. I suppose I could improve that if I took out uh, Timurids. Or maybe some of uh, the... Who's this? Yarkand. Guaranteed by Ming, Gujarat, and Jampur. Is Chakatai still... Oh, the tributary Ming and allied to Timurids. Well, that's an option. Portugal is a revolutionary again. Oh, bloody hell. So there, that is a truce now between France and Portugal. Let's have a look at the French troops. Oh, and... Birthplace of the Revolution. Oh, right, yeah. Right, so I wanted to see the armies. France has the second largest army, 200,000 men. they got a fair bit of mercenaries right now, and not a huge amount of manpower. I'm pretty sure that I cannot have long-term... Oh, I don't have any rivals available. I could check that, but I'm pretty sure that I don't. No possible rivals. I'm unrivaled. Well, I mean, yeah, I suppose there is a bit of a difference between me and Portugal, or me and Spain. And France is not even on the list. Oh. Okay. Let's have a look at the revolutionary map modes. Are they still focusing on me? Or are they actually converting some other places? No, I can't actually see where they are converting right now. Oh, they're converting in Urbino. Alright then. But yeah, we'll just gather up some more armies. And we'll be ready for another war. Can't actually... Oh, right, because we're converting those. Bohem... <laughs> no. Screw you, Bohemia. Down the three electors, it's Prabhat and Silly and Bohemia. I wonder, Silly, who are you allied to? Bohemia, Austria, and Bologna. 
And what about Brabant? Who are you allied to? Dortmund? So that's not too bad. Now, I wonder, if I was to declare war on Brabant, Bohemia would not join. Oh, Alright then. I wonder if they'll be able to get any more elixirs, quite frankly. Because of the wrong religions or something. Okay, let's convert mostly the Sunni provinces now, so we can actually call the provinces in Europe instead. Because that would be handy. But yeah, we're expanding a fair bit to the west now. Also, a little bit got one more province. I suppose Wolgas is... Oh, guaranteed by Bremen. Oh. Huh. Keep on borrowing the provinces in the meanwhile, and we still have... Okay, 98% control over the land. Could be a lot worse, I suppose. Oh, Dortmund is no longer revolutionary by the looks of it. Oh, they only have two free cities. One of which is presumably Electra. No, it's only one. Oh. Oh, well, that's been dealt with. Uh, I suppose, yeah, we've got four colonies still. Which is not too bad, I suppose. I mean, these are coming along quite nicely. Which one was it? Oh, right, Ket. The mask has a bit of a revolt, but it's only 20,000. Right, but I mean, currently we have a bit of a calm before a storm. I mean, frankly, oh, right, that would take us a bit over the limit. How about we expand another one of this 20,000 men armies into a proper imperial army? Something like that. Oh, Crusher Revol- oh, right, Dortmund is no longer revolutionary. I think Magdeburg- oh, Magdeburg is not revolutionary, but they got some revolutionaries as their friends. Volgas is a bit similar situation. I wouldn't mind giving that to Lübeck, though. And maybe taking a bit more land from a revolutionary Bremen as well. But yeah, we do need to fight France. The problem is, we don't really have a way to get there easily. I don't think I... No, I do have the transport fleet somewhere, over there. That's 30 ships, but that's not enough to actually keep everything under control. Although, let's actually make sure that we have some shipyards here. So we can build ships quicker. That would probably speed up things a little bit. Still got plenty of room. Hello. Okay, we need to move you up there. And we can convert more provinces in the meanwhile. And we can start coring the final two provinces. We've got 65% overextension. So we may want to wait a little bit until we start getting the course done. Before we start expanding again. We'll have quite a few armies over here already. We've got... Three Imperial armies over there, then we've got another one over here. We got a little bit around here, then we got some armies here in the Middle East. And we've got plenty of well, a decent bit of armies here in Mongolia. But we'll take that option. Do your spending practices. I think we're gonna fall losing a bit of the loyalty there. And get a new advisor. Which actually, ooh, production efficiency sounds good. I'll take that one. Speaking of production and trade, we are making a lot of money. We're almost reaching the thousand ducats per month. It's not quite as much as we were doing in the England game, but it's still pretty good. Now then, who is going to be our next target? I mean. Oh, actually. Now that's the thing. If I declare war on France, Hungary would probably join. Which would give me a lot of land here. 
potentially. Hmm. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, we lost the good leader, unfortunately. So do we want a 6 or a 5? I think we're going to go with the 6. National tax modifier. Oh, lovely. Well, let's combine that into another army. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four Imperial armies on the western border here. Actually, no, we got five. That's 200,000. Plus we've got another 40,000 there, another 40,000 here. Which actually... Probably expand that way. So, 280,000 men against Hungary and France. Would that be enough? I honestly don't know. Russia Revolution in Dortmund again. You know what? I'm going to send this one down to Greece. And then I'll just expand the suppression area for this army. A tiny bit. That way I'll have over 300,000 men. And let's have a quick look at the armies of Hungary. 120,000. they got plenty of... Any, oh, uh, barely any manpower, and France is in a bit of a similar situation. They got a bit more though, but yeah, I still probably have more manpower production in a year than what they get or what they have total right now. So, I mean, fifteen thousand per month. Oh Christ Almighty, that is quite a bit. Okay, but yeah, we are doing pretty well. Unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode, so we'll probably start another war next episode. Anyway, thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.